Promoting renewable energy is essential to secure enough electricity and cut carbon dioxide emissions. Today, we'll focus on the potential of marine energy, world in marine power technology. But in the past decade, technological development has advanced rapidly in other countries. Some now consider marine power to have real potential. Britain is surrounded by water just like Japan. There, the government is promoting marine power generation as a national strategy. Toilet generator in this area. We'll install the generator around here. The currents are fast because they flow between the islands. Another company has started a test nearby. A platform has been set up. The company says it's been conducting the test for six years. A six-meter diameter turbine is rotating. The turbine harnesses tidal movements to generate power. Hiramatsu saw with his own eyes that a foreign rifle is getting ahead of his team. The turbine is quite impressive. It makes me realize that we must catch up quickly or other companies will dominate the marine energy market. More than 10 generators are under development at the center. Once their performances are approved, developers can sign contracts with utility firms. Competition is heating up. Engineers can develop larger projects thanks to generous state support. Some are close to being put into practical use. This 140-meter wave power generator is called Pelamis, the name of a type of sea snake. The machine can generate enough electricity for about 1,000 households. The developer says it cut costs by boosting output using bigger machines. We got permission to go inside the machine and see how it works. Various devices have been installed inside the tube-shaped machine. Up here you can see one of the rams which, um, which, which pumps the oil. These pistons are crucial. The black tubes move with the waves. The pistons connected to the tubes then slide sideways. The pistons compress oil, producing energy for a power generator. Fourteen years ago, three researchers started a firm and tested a model of Pelamis. The firm later raised more than $110 million, including financial aid from the government. That allowed it to create bigger prototypes. Its researchers are now trying to make their machines more durable and efficient. They say they'll be able to cut costs to the level of wind power in several years. Analysis shows the generator's operating rate is twice that of a wind power generator. Weather conditions seem to have little impact on its performance. Another big reason development is stalled is a shortage of funding. Kiyomi Suzuki is the president of a venture firm that's been developing a tidal power generator for the past five years. The device uses a propeller to capture tidal flows and convert them into electricity.
Using his own funds and more than one million dollars in government subsidies, Suzuki succeeded in generating power with a six meter long device. He's designing a system three times that size for practical use. Last month, the British government launched a $37 million subsidy scheme. More and more firms are joining the industry. The difference in national energy policy is widening the gap between Britain and Japan.